Hey everyone, it's Trisha and welcome back to my kitchen. I have missed you all very much. Um, today we're going to do some delicious fall slash winter comfort food from the great Ina. Her new cookbook, um, Modern Comfort Food. Um, it just came out and today I'm going to cook her split pea with crispy kielbasa. It's on page 62 of her book. Um, I can't tell you all the exact ingredients and I can't post the recipe because it's copyrighted, but I do believe it's on a couple of websites um, out there. And then you can also just come into the library and once again, check out her book or any of her books because she's an amazing um, cook and she's helped many people during this uh, quarantine. Um, all right, so let's get started. I'll see you in a few minutes. All right, so first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna heat some olive oil in a soup pot and then we're going to saute um, I have some cut up leeks um, they were chopped and then you have to rinse them and drain them and then spin them dry in um, a salad spinner because they can hold a lot of water and also leeks can have a lot of sand in it so they definitely need a cleaning beforehand then I also have some carrots that's not a carrot and some onions here's my carrots and we're gonna saute them um, until they are tender and starting to brown. All right, I put my olive oil into the pot and I have the heat going about a medium, medium high. Split pea soup is uh, delicious and filling and um, pretty easy soup to make. It's, you can freeze it. Um, you can have a lot of leftovers. Just add a little um, extra water or broth to it when you're heating it up to um, loosen it because it can get a little thick. It's high in fiber and it just tastes, to me, amazing. And I'm very excited to have this for dinner tonight. So the oil, I said, is coming. I feel it's not ready yet. I'll be back. All right, my oil is nice and hot. I'm gonna add the onions my carrots and the leeks I'm going to give this a, a stir and let this cook down um, until the onions and the leeks start to um, brown a little bit and soften. The carrots will take a lot longer than this, but it looks good already. While the veggies are sauteing, I have a pound of green split peas. Um, you always want to rinse these and um, look them over because sometimes little rocks can get, can get mixed in there. Yeah. And you're just gonna kind of just go through them. Oops, you can't say. There you go. You can kind of go through them and look at little rocks and give them a nice rinse. All right. I'm also gonna add some garlic as well, and then let this cook for about a minute. Next, I'm going to add the split peas. And then we're going to stir these for about a minute to let them get covered by the oil. We also need to put in a bunch of thyme sprigs but you don't want them flying all over the place so I'm going to take some kitchen twine and we're going to tie this together with a little bouquet and then later on we can just scoop this out easy okay so I think we're ready for all the other ingredients okay so to the pot we're going to add our chicken broth. I have like a mixture of 
low sodium, or it's reduced sodium and regular sodium. And then we're also going to add in some water. Really to the top. Okay. Let me give this a stir. Got something sticking at the bottom. Let's get. Okay. All right. We're also going to add in our thyme, bay leaves. What did I do with them? Two bay leaves. I know Cole's for fresh, but I don't have that. So we're gonna use dried. And then our last ingredient. I had never bought this before. It's a ham hock. It was fun trying to find this. All right, that goes in as well. This gives you a nice smoky, meaty flavor. Let's get everything covered in there. Give it a little stir. I'm also adding some salt. She calls for two teaspoons, but more just a little too salty for me. Um, so I'd rather add it at the end if I need to, uh, at, you know, at the table. And then mm, some freshly cracked pepper. I don't have that. So we're gonna just mm, do it like that. All right. Once again, let's give this a stir. And we're gonna bring this to a boil and then we're gonna let it simmer. So yeah, so we're gonna bring this to a boil and then lower it down and then have it simmer with a pot cover partially on. And it's about an hour or so before everything you know is ready. We're gonna be stirring it several times and um, it's gonna be great. I have a piece of advice for you. I'm not sure if I have said it yet or not in a previous video, but you should really clean up as you go. Um, I'm gonna start doing that. I'm on a little dishwasher uh, because it just it just makes everything just run more smoothly and it's not as overwhelming. And um, I think it makes your the whole cooking situation uh, much more enjoyable. All right, so it's been cooking for about 20 minutes. I've done some stirring, but I wanted to just show you what it looks like. Here we go. Just giving it a nice little stir. The house smells delicious. Cover it back up again. Just a little bit off center. And uh, we'll give it a stir a little bit. All right. I think we're ready. Looks, smells amazing. Okay. So we have to take out the ham hock. Mm -mm -mm. And then we need to find the thyme. Oh, there is a hot bay leaf. Another bay leaf is in here somewhere. Ooh. Here is the all the thyme. And I'm gonna search for the next bay leaf. Okay, so Ina says to take two cups out and put it into a food processor. I have a food processor. I don't feel like cleaning it though, but I, I also have a uh, immersion blender. So I'm just gonna loosely blend this to give it a little bit of um, smooth texture. <laughs> Be careful doing it in your pot. <laughs> Looks great. Now I'm going to put this aside and I'm going to slice up my smoked kielbasa to top this with. Top that with. All right, here's my smoked kielbasa, and they said to cut it on an angle, which always confuses me a little bit. So, I think it's like this. Yeah, that's what it's like. Okay. 
I'm only gonna do like two pieces because I'm not, we're not all eating it right now. Okay, and I'm gonna take this and we're gonna fry it up, make it nice and crispy. So I have a small frying pan and a little bit of olive oil just to create that crunch. I'm gonna let this uh, warm up. Okay, our oil is, is warm and hot. We're gonna put in our pieces of the kielbasa and then probably like five minutes, kind of turn it back and forth, back and forth to get it nice and crispy. All right, here is the end result. Our beautiful soup, al kielbasa. I'm gonna ladle a little bit into the bowl so I can taste it. And it's done. Right, let's see if you can see that. Look how, whoops, how beautiful that is. It smells delicious. All right, and the big reveal. I don't want to burn my mouth. Mm. Oh, that's good. I like the chunky texture of not having everything pureed down. Let's try it with the kielbasa. Once again, it's very hot. Um, it's slightly smoky from the ham hock. That's really good. Warms your inside. I think that, I think that everyone will like it. I think you should check out Ina's um, Ina Garden, her, her cookbook. There's amazing recipes in there. I have my next video plan from a recipe in there. And um, this is great for the fall and the winter. It'll keep your insides warm. It's full of fiber. Uh, and it's just fantastic. So from the Roxanne Library, I would say happy holidays. And I hope to see you all soon. Bye.